Hello everyone, I'm Vikas and welcome to another part of the video streaming app development series. Till the last video, we created and displayed the data into the recycler view here as it is. And we displayed these images, this title, and we also handled the click on the items and displayed the extra information like Big Bug Bunny is the title of that particular video and the dis uh, description of the video. Now in this part, we're going to implement this video view and we're going to play the video based on the a given URL, okay? So we already have the video URL, so we don't need to do much work here. We just need to implement the video view and we need to set a few methods and we'll play the video here, okay? So uh, let's go back to our Android Studio here and into the player, I'm just going to check if the ID, it is called video view, okay? So let me close this adapter as well. So now here, I will set the video URL. So we need to say, uh, set the video uh, URL for the video player, okay? So video player dot set video URI and for this we need URI or URL, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead here and create the video URL string and I'm gonna use actually this would be URI, okay? And we need to pass the string. So v dot get video URL is the string. Okay. Now uh, this video URL variable contains the correct URL. So I'm going to pass that here. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to wait for the buffer to complete. Okay. Because uh, if the video is not buffered, then it's going to uh, freeze the activity for a few seconds. So we don't want that. So I want to set on prepared listener. So on prepared listener is called when the uh, video is loaded. Okay. So new on prepared listener. And when the media player is pre prepared and ready to play the video, we're just going to go ahead and call the video player and play the video. So we can just start it. Okay. This is it. This is a simple step to play the video, but we also need to display the controller. So we'll do that later, but let's run this application and see if we can run or play the video or not. The app is running here and now I'm going to go ahead and click on this big work bunny. And let's see if it is going to play the video or not. Currently, we don't have any spinner here, so it's not going to do anything. Any spinning thing is not there, but let's see. Okay, so we are able to play this video, right? But if you click on this image anywhere or video, we are not, we, we don't see any controller here. So first we need to create the controller, okay? So let me close this and go here. And I'm going to create the media controller here. So media controller, new media controller, this, okay. And after that, I'm going to set the media controller. So video player dot set media controller MC. Okay. So let's see and run this again and see if we can see the media controller into our video. Okay, the app is running and now I'm going to play this one. And once the video is start playing, let's see if we can see the media controller. Okay, now you can see we have the media controller, but it is at the uh, end of this video, right? So we don't want that here, that controller here. Actually, we want that controller here in uh, over this video. Okay, so that is the bug, I think, kind of bug in Android Studio. So we need to fix that. So to fix that, we can use the frame layout, okay? So let's go to the activity player here and go to the code part here or split part, or we can just go to the code part here. And now what I want to do is I want to surround this video view with the frame layout, okay? So let's go to the design here and uh, let me add the frame layout from here. So frame layout, I'm going to drag and drop just before the video view and I'm just going to put this video view inside that. Okay. Now when I do that, it's all going to mess up the design. So let me fix that. Okay. So card view don't have anything right now. Okay. 
Now uh, here is the frame layout and I don't want it to have the match parent. So what I want to do is I want to first set the constant into the all side and make this wrap content. Okay, let's see. And frame layout, let me put it here. Okay, and this is the video view. And here I need to give the match parent. Okay, now you can see it is displaying the video view and we have this frame layout. So now I'm going to fix the constant for this card view. Let's just copy this from here and put it there and remove that button constraint. Okay, now this is what we wanted. Okay, so let's run this application again and let's see if the controller is coming to this uh, over this video or not. Okay, the application is running now and I'm going to play one of these. Actually, I'm not going to play this because I think this is related to Game of Thrones and if I play this, somebody is going to give me the copyright strike. So let me just open this one. Okay, now video is playing and you can see it is displaying the controller here and we can pause, play and seek the video. Okay, and now uh, we also want that spinner here so that as long as the video is loading, it should display something here so that user can understand that something is going on in the background. So let's do that. So for that, we need the progress bar, obviously. So let's drag and drop the progress bar just above this frame layout but it's going to go to the uh, top corner because it is frame layout, it is not constant layout. We can't fix any constant. So to fix the constant, we can uh, set the gravity. So let's go and give the layout gravity as the center and I hope it's going to get that into the center, okay? And also it is having the ID as progress bar, all right? So now I'm gonna go here and create the progress bar and give the variable name as spinner, okay, double I anyway, it doesn't matter. And here I'm going to set the layout resources. So spinner progress bar, okay. And now when the media video is start playing, I want to hide that spinner. So I can use spinner dot set visibility and gone and so it will cause the progress bar to hide when the video is start playing so let's run this again and we will see okay the app is running i'm going to open the first one and you can see we have this spinner now and when the video start playing it's going to go away and that is exactly what we wanted okay so now i also want to change this title here so to change the title, I can use the get support action bar just after this video data is uh, received. So get support action bar dot say title and I can use v dot get title. Okay, now let's run this. And once the application is running, we can see that uh, title is set to the video title and it is spinning and uh, yeah, it is also dis displaying the controller here, okay? So guys, uh, this is it for this video and this might be a shortest one of this series, but it's okay. And in the next video, we're going to implement the full screen button here, here somewhere, okay? So that user can uh, make this video full screen. So we are going to do that manually and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.